so you, so your mom signed you up for Arizona Sports Ranch, and that's where you met Bob yeah. Gillette. Yep. Bob changed my life as a swimmer, and he was my coach uh, from then on, from the time I started year-round at seven until I left for college, and I still consider him my coach and a mentor and my dear friend, and uh, he was really the brains behind the whole operation. He was the one who helped me to pioneer the underwater dolphin kick and the sidekick uh, technique, and I really believe that that's why I was able to become a world-class swimmer. Yeah, well, he really is a master innovator, investor, having the vision for the sports ranch, having the vision for you know the the, the dolphin kick and, and, and what you could accomplish through that. Absolutely, um, yep, and the sports ranch was great. I basically grew up with the facility. When I started there, it was a dirt road and a four-lane, 25-yard pool, and uh, by the time I left for college, there were dorms for swim camps and a, an eight-lane, 50-meter pool and quite a few other things, so it was uh, a special time to be a part of that growth and development of his facility. Yeah, he did a great job. You were the national record holder in the Hunter Fly for how many years did it last? Um, one of the longest records. It was just broken last year. So uh, I graduated high school in 97, did the records in 96. So, um, you know, almost 15 years. <laughs> That's pretty good. What, yeah. was, what was your exact time again? Uh, 52. Oh, you think I'd remember, right? <laughs> That's right. Okay, good. So that got you the opportunity to train at Stanford and uh, with Richard Quick. That's so right. you've been involved with some of the two greatest coaches in, in U.S. swimming history. Yes, um, I've been very blessed uh, to work with both of them, and I think they each brought something unique to my to my swimming. So at these clinics, you're able to really kind of surmise all of that experience into the next generation of swimmers. Absolutely. And communicate that to the next kids. Yeah, it's really a pleasure now, having been retired from the sport for some time and now being involved in coaching, to be able to synthesize uh, the schools of thought from both Bob and, and Richard Quick and all the resources that we had at Stanford. And so um, it's fun for me to be able to put that together uh, in a way that's really uh, effective for developmental kids. And so you love traveling and working with kids, and, and you've traveled a bit. I mean, you've lived in some cool places. I have. Well, I uh, studied a semester in, in Chile, in Santiago, Chile, and uh, trained with the team there. And uh, then after I retired from swimming, I moved to the Caribbean island of St. Croix, uh, where I worked at a resort there, and I also coached and uh, loved it. And then I went on to Switzerland to get my MBA. So I've lived all over the world, and uh, but it's always great to come home. So I'm really happy I've been back in Arizona for three years, and uh, and I'm glad to be home. So, so you love to travel so much, you'd, you'd, you'd come to just about any town in America and teach the kids there, right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're... Put me on a plane and point me to the pool. That's right. <laughs> Well, we're thankful you do clinics for Mutual Vomont Breakout Swim Clinics, and they can find out more information about you at usaswimmer.com. That's right. And uh, hopefully we'll see you at a pool nearby. Look forward to it. Thanks, Josh.